Are the Vortex Crossfire HD binoculars any good? Do the Crossfires have ED glass? Hi, I'm Tina from Target Tamers, and recently I've been field testing the Vortex Crossfire HD 10x50 binoculars to answer these questions and more. These are actually a loaner pair from my friend who purchased them as an upgrade from his older binoculars. And since he knows that I'm completely obsessed, he offered them up for me to play with and to review. I know that the Crossfire series is extremely popular given their low price point uh, for a Vortex Optic, so I couldn't resist. Right off the bat, this has a 10 by 50 configuration, so 10 times magnification with 50 millimeter objective lenses. They have a field of view of 320 feet at 1,000 yards, which I will mention is only five feet short of the field of view in the Crossfire 10 by 42 alternative. It has 17 millimeters of eye relief, a close focus distance of six feet and dimensions of 6.7 by 5.3 inches with 30.4 ounce weight and they are made in China. Build quality. I think the best thing about them is its build quality that's made for daily use. It's both waterproof and fog proof, purged with nitrogen gas if you were wondering. Though this would be something that I would typically highlight as exceptional in entry level binoculars. These are Vortex binoculars at almost $200. So I demand that as a standard expectation at this point for a Vortex. Everything is sealed and glued up tight. I have experienced no leaking or internal fogging. Moving mechanisms are all smooth and so is the knurling and the armor. While it feels nice on the bare fingers, the armor offers no grippiness at all. Now there's a lot of plastic in this binocular from top to bottom, but while some might say that that's a bad thing, not all plastic is made equal, right? So I can tell you that these are far better made than my cheap Binotex or other generic binoculars I have laying around. As long as the crossfires are treated right, these will be your daily workhorse. Caps. I usually don't go on too much about caps, but I do like the rain guard rain guard cover because it's they're really deep about three quarters of an inch deep and they do hold on really snugly so they do the job really well but i think that the objective lens caps are awesome instead what you would see on binoculars is that they're tethered to the objective bells right around here i lose those caps all the time instead vortex has tethered these to the tripod cap so i really like that the risk of losing these out in the field has significantly reduced i really didn't want to have to tell my friend that i lost some of his gear out in the field. So the Crossfire HD binoculars are tripod mountable, no surprise there. With 10 times magnification, you really don't need to uh, mount them, but I did and I found I preferred them that way. Now they do weigh about 30 ounces and it, they actually feel heavier in the hand. I did experience more extra uh, insta image instability than normal, even with 10 times magnification. So up on the tripod, they went. Now, like most 50 millimeter and larger binoculars, there is very little space between the objective bow for easy access to that tripod cap. There is some, you know, getting creative with how you're holding it and positioning it. It's really not that hard for me. If you have bigger fingers, you might have a problem with it. Now, to the tripod adapter you want to use with the 10 by 50 binoculars is something like an outdoorsman stud. It's really the only way to go for uh, bigger binoculars and making things as convenient as possible. Before I continue, I just wanna take a quick second to remind you to like this video because I'm dishing out good information, right? And subscribe so that you don't miss out on my next optics review. Thanks so much. All right, let's get back to it. Eye relief, it's about 17 millimeters long. I can adjust it for my vision with the diopter so it's plenty long enough for me to get behind. Now, however, if I put my glasses on, it's about the same experience I have with other binoculars with similar eye relief. My glasses lenses are right up against the eyepieces. It's not horrible, but it's not necessarily ideal either. The HD optical system and the optical quality. So I might sound pretty harsh in giving my opinion on the optical quality of the Crossfire HDs, but the HD term designated to the Crossfire series is just marketing. I have seen no evidence that the Crossfires have ED glass. Now from actual field testing with them, there is some chromatic aberration and a color fidelity drop off. Uh, the focusing system requires constant fine tuning and I don't feel that it has the sharpest or the clearest resolution for a $200 binocular. And when Mirage is up, there is significant drop off in the image quality, but that is at least to be expected. 
Now for the good parts about the optical system. So these actually have pretty decent low light performance. I did put these up against some um, ED 10 by 42 binoculars and they did come out brighter and that would be thanks to the larger 50 millimeter lenses and the objective bells. For a roof prism binocular, even though it's an entry level model for Vortex, I like that they also applied the phase correction coatings because all roof prism binoculars need it. Now I have little to no complaints about the image quality, yes, including the resolution and and the color fidelity when it's used inside close work inside a few hundred yards I know that sounds terrible but even with FMC and phase correction coatings it's just okay it's not the greatest but then again it's not the most terrible either it's just okay best uses so applications right stargazing I did a little bit of stargazing with these and yeah they make stars pop and there's absolutely no reason that you couldn't use these for lunar observation now bow and rifle hunting why not I think these will be excellent for the short ranges for callers bow hunters uh, and perhaps even those in the tree stands I think that the 50 millimeter lenses will be great in those um, wooded timber environments even though I think maybe 10 times might be a bit much but I tell you it was it's rewarding when you're seeing uh, getting close-ups of wildlife just across the field from you so birding and wildlife observation these will be excellent for wildlife observation and recreational activities like sightseeing and hiking they are a bit heavy in the hands so you won't want to carry them like this all day fortunately they do come with the class the glass pack harness and the pouch right because you will want to use them I think the Vortex Crossfire HD 10 by 50 binoculars are a good pair. They're definitely what I would consider entry level quality, good for the recreational outdoorsman, uh, the beginner, or for a hunter that is on a strict budget. Now its strong points are its build quality. It's not perfect, but it is above average in my opinion. And it's affordable for a Vortex binocular. In fact, it's the cheapest. Uh, roof prism binocular that Vortex has the Crossfire HD series and lastly of course that well-known VIP warranty it's unconditional unlimited lifetime uh, Vortex has a warranty reputation that precedes them so that speaks for itself now the written review to this video is included in the link in the description below I want to say thanks to my friend Roger for loaning these pair out for me to review and thank you to you for tuning in today with me don't forget to like, subscribe, and get outside.